Hey, hey, happy Friday. This is Zuri. You found Talk Yarning to me. I am miraculously recording in broad daylight for the first time in forever. Um, sorry, that's my, uh, what's it called? It's my work, to, my work team's messages going off because I'm propped you up on my computer, <laughs> my work computer anyway. So hopefully that won't go. I'm actually out sick today. I don't know why anyone's hitting me up, but it happens. Um, anyway, like I said, my name is Zuri. This is my channel, Talk Yarning to Me. I, um, I uh, wanted to come on here real quick and show you the final results of uh, my second, third, second baby blanket. Yes, third, third, because, okay, star blanket, dragonfly blanket, this blanket. So it's the third baby blanket out of potentially five that I'm going to make this frame. I'm going to finish this one. It's going to its new home tomorrow. So I wanted to show you guys real quick. Wow, as I lean over, excuse me. Um, This one is the one I was working on the other day, and I remember telling you guys that I made it too narrow for its length, so the dimensions are still a little wonky. Once I put the border on, it got a little bit better, but um, I feel like it's good enough um okay so you guys ready here it is you see that oh uh, it came out i really love the way it came out there's only a couple of things that i don't love one is this spot right here can you see that it's not super duper it's noticeable to me because i know about it and then probably it would be like noticeable to whoever's looking at it just as like oh that's a big hole but they probably wouldn't be able to tell what happened and it looks like I'm guessing I missed a shell I skipped a shell here I might still do this but I thought about probably like uh just getting some scrap yarn and cinching that up a little bit and then um weaving the ends in I might still do that I'm not sure I got 12 hours to decide <laughs> Um, but yeah, I like the way it came out. I doubled up on the, so the border pattern is just triple, uh, not triple, half double crochets. Um, it's supposed to be one row of each and then the row of shell, or not shells, like yeah, little mini shells here. Um, but I did two rows of each just to give it a little extra length. And so now I feel like it's a decent respectable side. It's still like really long for what it is, but that's okay. Um, this is Georgia. You don't actually need baby blankets in Georgia. I mean, they're good for throwing on top of the car seat. Not on top of, but like kind of putting in the car seat like during winter to give your baby a little extra coverage. And, uh, um, and, um, uh, weighing your baby on, I guess, I guess, um, or that. Um, don't really need them. So they ain't gotta be too. Nothing. My point is like, it'll, it'll work. It'll work. Um, so I finished that a few days ago, probably like last weekend. And, uh, today's Friday. So today's Friday the 3rd. I feel like I finished it last weekend. Um, and now I started on another one, but I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to frog it. Um, I'll show you. So I, I mentioned that I had this stuff. So this is KNC Essential Cotton. Which I thought was a four way, a three, a four way. It says it's a three. It says it's a three. I would think it's a very, it's probably a three, I guess. Um, but it's in this kind of, it's called desert. It's called desert, which is mainly like this off, this creamy khaki color with like just these stripes of this like terracotta thing. Um, so I thought it was a cool little neutral, which you don't really see for baby blankets a lot. And I started working on a chevron baby blanket which i like the way it looks i don't think i love the way it feels so i like the way it looks you just see you have the off-white and then now that i'm picking it up like a couple of days later i'm actually liking it more um but it's just a chevron just a. it's uh just like i think five double four double crochets and then to the peaks are increases and the the valleys are crocheted to two together so you have um two double crochets two double crochets two sets of two double crochets at the top and then two sets of crochet two together at the bottom so your stitch count remains the same it's pretty easy 
I like the way it looks. Now I'm kind of not minding the way it feels, so maybe I'll keep going. It'll be like a nice, cool blanket, which like I said, we live in Georgia. You don't need a warm blanket. This is like even touching it, like after touching this one, like just the difference in how like cool it feels. It's just not, you know, because it's cotton, it's not super squishy. Like I feel like as a knitted blanket, this would actually be both prettier and feel better. But um, ain't nobody got time for that right now. Um, but so I've been thinking about frogging it or going in a different direction. And actually shout out to Chandrika from Rika Life because she mentioned this yarn when I was watching a video of hers yesterday. And I was like, I got that yarn. And so she gave me an idea. She mentioned Karen Baby Cakes, which I have. If you guys remember, like a little over a year ago, I made two blankets from Karen Baby Cakes. Like right when I first started, for those of you who were around back then, which was not a lot, but that's okay. I made one knit blanket and I made one crochet blanket. So the first like real crochet project that I finished was actually the, the crochet blanket I made out of this. Like besides like this grossly oversized hat <laughs> that I made um, that got me started. So it's... This is, I believe, a discontinued color, maybe, because I got it at Ollie's, but I feel like I've seen it on the shelves since then at Michael's. It's called Pool Party. I think it went, they brought it back. They never really discontinued it. Um, and I like it. It's got very aquatic uh, colors. So like some aquas, some greens, some blues, and then this like sandy kind of brown, brown khaki or whatever it's it makes a good so i think i might do this now i don't know if i'll do the chevron still or if i will do uh i thought i may be doing the what is this thing called um what is it called the moss stitch moss stitch i thought i'd do a moss stitch blanket with this so I've never done the mustache before. It looks pretty straightforward. I would do it in a square, I think. So, or at least a rectangle. So I can build it out and then just go as big as I can. Or as big as, you know, I, you know, I won't have to worry about running out. I don't think I will because both the knit blanket and the crochet blanket I did last year took about one and a half of these. They were a little on the small side, especially the knit one. I think the crochet, the crochet was a star. So it's hard to tell. It was a different kind of star than the one I just did though. It had like, longer points um but either way they took about one and a half each i have three of these so i am thinking it'll be more than enough but i'm gonna still go from the inside out so um now that i picked this back up and i like it <laughs> now i'm like maybe i will keep going with this i don't know what do you think you guys let me know what you think this guy here or um so cotton cotton chevron or something with the baby kicks you guys let me know for a second I thought it wasn't recording okay um so there's that I'm gonna put these uh, here I'm gonna show you what else I've been working on other thing oh so one more thing where is this thing at oh where did I put it oh one more I also because I went out to grab um some diapers and wipes for the baby shower tomorrow and um the the shower theme and i don't know if it's a nursery theme or anything but the shower theme is baby yoda so i was kind of like you know what i'm gonna make her i bet i have time to make a quick like baby yoda baby hat and so i ran over to joanne's because i was a target and joanne is like across the street a little bit so i ran out and i grabbed some um big twist living which is on sale for 2.99 it's like 650. I think I bought some Big Twist Living. I remember I showed you guys like a few weeks ago that I got on sale and it was like more than that at that time, except that I got an extra 25% that off my total purchase that the cashier just gave me at the register. It made it so cheap. I spent like nothing. I got a ton of yarn. Um, this is, I got this. I can't ever remember what color Baby Yoda is. I know he's like a green, but I don't remember how green, but I have this. I'm pretty sure I got some other greens in my stash, but I just wanted to grab something just in case. Plus this is anti-pilling. So I'm going to make at least one, if not a couple of little baby hats, little newborn baby Yoda hats tonight. <laughs> There's nothing else I can make the little, at least the scully and get, put them in there, but I think I'll have time to do everything because the little, the actual beanie part will take no time at all. So it's just making the little ears and sewing them on. So there's that. 
Um, the other thing I've been working on this week is, this is the main thing, is if you guys remember, oh, I have to drop my hook, the Switch Way Filet blanket, oh, it's backside, that I've been, I, I started working on a few months ago, and I put it to the side when I started work doing all these blankets, but this is going to the same family, or this is supposed to go to the same couple that... I made the dragonfly blanket for because they as i mentioned before they bought a house um back in the fall and so this is kind of like a very belated housewarming gift so i have a week until their baby shower um so if i finish it i'll give it to them then because my husband like he bought them a bunch of stuff off the registry which is he really likes them like of all the couples that we know that are having babies that's the only one that he bought anything for because he likes them a lot <laughs> And so I don't need to get them anything except some diapers and wipes. And like, we just sent all this stuff directly to their house. Cause I was like, I'm not showing up with like bags and bags of stuff looking like I'm trying to do too much. So, you know, I'm gonna just bring the blanket. And actually he also had his mom make this. My husband's, my mother-in-law is like a really talented quilter. And so she made, this really beautiful quilt. It's Winnie the Pooh on one side, and it's uh, some various other bear animals. Let's see, a bear, a cat, a giraffe, etc. I think that's it. Some other stuff, elephant, all these little things like that. So she made that for him, or for, because my husband requested it. She will do anything for her baby boy. But she's like, she's super talented. She made me one while we were uh, dating because he asked for it. And then she's like, she was like, are you sure it's a lot of work? Is she going to be around? And that's kind of when he was like, no, mom, I'm probably going to marry her. So it'll be mine in, in a couple years anyway. <laughs> and sure enough, it was like way too early for all that. But it is what it is. So yeah, so they're going to have a lot they're gonna get a couple blankets plus all the stuff we sent them which is like diaper genies and like so whatever stuff from the registry but he got a bunch of stuff off their registry um so yeah that's what's going on um not a lot i just wanted to show you guys all this stuff before i packed it up and uh and um took it all over there tomorrow so yeah, those are the blankets that I definitely wanted to get made because they were baby showers like and stuff. The other two, like I don't have a deadline for, but I definitely am going to make them. So I think I will go ahead and finish this chevron blanket, even though I wasn't originally planning on it. And I'm going to do this baby cakes blanket. And I still will do, even though this is that six blankets instead of five, I will knit the Forever Fleece Finer Blanket. <laughs> Forever Fleece Finer Blanket. Knit up those so that way those are out of my stash. Um... And yeah, that's where we're going to go. Nothing else really that I did this week, I think. I'll I'll take a picture of the Baby Yoda hat. Um, or if I have time tonight, if I finish it tonight, I'll like come back on and show you guys. Well, I'll finish it tonight. I'll have to finish it tonight. But if I have time to come back on and show you guys tonight, I will. And then I'll just stitch the videos together. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Happy Friday. I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, oh, you know what? Real quick. Um... Thank you for everyone that has, I don't know, everyone that's subscribed lately. Like, I had a big jump this week, which is, doesn't always happen. Um, and so, really appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to my day ones um, that have been there. I don't know if somebody mentioned me. Um, if you did, thank you. You know, you don't have to say anything. But if you did, then thank you. Sorry. Just looking at a, being nosy, looking at someone driving past my house. <laughs> that's like the, the, uh bad part about filming in the daytime I guess is that I can see everything that's going on but anyway yeah if you mentioned me I appreciate it I had a bunch of people subscribe like in the last week week and a half so um appreciate it very much um and hopefully we are gonna keep having fun so I will get out of here in under 15 minutes for the first time ever and I uh, have a great week I'll talk to you guys soon hey guys just popping back on as promised really quickly I did finish my little baby Yona Yoda beanie baby cat baby hat thing and it's adorable it's really cute ears are a little wonky 
but <laughs> oh well. Um, it was really easy. It was not hard to do. Um, I'll make sure to pop the, what's it called? Pattern that I followed into the description box along with the pattern for the Aurora baby blanket and whatever else. But this is how we came out. I really wanted to try to whip up some little booties too to go with it. Psst, my cat is over here. To go with it. I don't know if I have time, but I might still try to do it. Um, we'll see. If I do it, we'll take a picture and um, show it to you. But anyway, this is what it came out. I used, like I said, Big Twist Living. The color is sage. I don't think I mentioned that before. Um, it's so cute though. It's adorable. Little tiny newborn stuff gets to me so bad. Crazy. This is actually like a zero to three month pattern, but I figure it'll do. Anyway, that's all. Okay, back one more time. Excuse the lighting. I didn't feel like turning the lights back on, but I stayed up late and I made the booties. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? So, let me see. Which one? Oh, dropped to drop it. Now I can't tell. This one, I think, was the first one I made. It's a little bit off. If you look at the sole, it kind of leans a little bit. This one is the second one, I think. No, this is the first one. So this little thing that looks like it's here, like your little arch thing. So that's not on purpose. This one just came a little bit off. Just whatever. And then this one is the second one. So it's a little more even. But they came out really cute. Oh my gosh, I really love them. This is my first time making something like this. Oh, they're so cute and tiny. Ooh, with the little hat. How cute is those? Okay, I just wanted to show you guys that I am going to go to bed now. I'll get these washed in the morning so they're nice and soft. And then I will throw them in with everything else. And we will be off to the baby shower. All right, you guys have a great night. Bye.